Hey guys, it's time for another box opening. This one's coming to us from the UK. Stick around. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the Man Cave. And I have just received my first box, my first order from 3D Jason. That's 3D J S O N. So let's, now, I'll be very honest with you guys. I ordered this via eBay not over eight days ago, maybe nine. I don't even think it's been nine, to be honest with you, and it is here already. So I'm excited to open this. After I saw it on the Plastic General's channel, I had to say uh, this was the first time I ever heard from 3D Jason. So I'm going to open this up and uh, show you what I ordered. Of course, everything comes nicely packed. This is 3D printed resin, I believe. And uh, it looks like he sent me more than I ordered. So I'm going to go through this real quick and take it out of the bubble wrap, lay it out for you, and uh, show you what he sent. So this is the first set out of the box. This is the set that I ordered. This is the five-man U.S. medic team. Um, comes with the stretcher. And as you can tell, he left it on the sprue for shipping. And I don't blame him there. Uh, you know how 3D printing is sometimes. It gets brittle. So leaving it on the sprue, you're just going to knock this off and, uh, you know, file it down. But it's not, there's not a lot of flashing there that I can tell on top. It's just going to be uh, where it's connected. And that'll break away easy. But I'm going to leave it on the sprue just to show you how it came nicely. Uh, nothing was broken in the package. Uh, so you get the stretcher. You get two uh, field medics and uh, probably the driver of the truck. And then you get a uh, injured guy for the stretcher. Of course, he's uh, decline position here, but uh, you'd be on the stretcher either laying down or laying up. And then you have another injured guy in uniform laying on his side. So that is the five man team that I purchased. And uh, they look true to scale, um, 132nd scale. I ordered everything in 132nd scale. Uh, just to give you an idea, this is. Uh, CTS, which is usually a little bit bigger. There's Airfix. Um, hard to tell on the sprue, but they look a little, I don't know if I had to say thinner. Um, they're more like Swamp Fox miniatures. Um, maybe I should have got this in 130th. I don't know. It's hard to tell being on the sprue. I'll have to cut these off and paint them. And, but uh, just to give you some idea. They might be a little thinner, uh, but the height looks about right. So, so now let me review uh, the other stuff that he sent. So these first two extra ones that he sent me are from the Eisenhower inspecting the 101st Airborne. And you can see Eisenhower here with one of the Airborne troopers. Um, normally when I do my reviews, you know I do it on black. Uh, these are so dark resin gray resin i wanted you to catch everything about these so i put them on the white background i think you can see that a little bit better and again 101st airborne figure here again these come with the sprues on these are definitely uh, the quality of these figures um you know they are museum quality ready like if you guys are doing dioramas for you know, modeling and stuff like that. Just order these in the 135th scale or, or smaller scale, and uh, they are ready to go, man. I tell you, the detail on these figures is just phenomenal. So these are two of the figures from the, uh, uh, again, Eisenhower inspecting the troops, 101st Airborne. Now this next figure, I believe, is the medic from the ambulance crew. And you can see he's standing pointing. So if you order the ambulance crew, this is the medic you will get. Again, very highly detailed. Um, even his finger. I mean, nothing was broken in any of these. So I, I kind of like that they're still on the sprue. Um, I know you have to do a little work, but it's probably worth it in shipping. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's... You know how brittle these can be sometimes when you order 3D printing, so um, keep that in mind. But this is the uh, the medic with the ambulance crew. 
This next pose is the U.S. Airborne boarding figure. It is one of the 10 that you get with that set, if you order that set. Again, very highly detailed. Your sheet's packed, everything. Very nice. I'm going to cut these all off and uh, show them to you at the end when they're all cut off, but I wanted you to see how they're shipped to you first. Since this is my first order I've ever received from 3D Jason. Now the next figure he wanted me to review was this U.S. Air Force uh, bomber crew. Again, this comes in a set of 10. This will be one crew member here carrying his bags. Got his uh, coat over the shoulder. Got his cap with the ear flaps. I mean... Look at the suspenders. I mean, the detail on this, man, is just amazing. Uh, we can't get over that. Again, usually when you go larger, you lose a lot of that detail, but these are 132nd scale, true 132nd scale. Again, a little bit thinner. If you're used to uh, TSSD and Conte and things like that, you can go larger, but I ordered the 132nd scale just to give you guys some idea. This next figure is the U.S. Navy PT crew member, and again, I believe this comes in a set of 10 figures. This is most likely an officer or a chief. Again, the detail on these is just extraordinary. So if you're working on a 132nd scale PT boat, or really any boat of any kind, um, definitely check out their Navy figures. Now this is another figure from the uh, PT boat crew, but this is an action pose. Uh, you can see he has his helmet on. He's got his life jacket on. Definitely uh, manning a gun. Very cool pose. Again, if you don't have a PT boat, I'm sure you could use this as a boat driver for one of your landing craft on D-Day. Um, he has his hands up, could be holding a wheel. So. Very nice figure. And this last grouping that he sent me to review is the U.S. Uh, medical surgical team. Let's see, we've got a stretcher here with the injured soldier on it. We have the doctor. That's his mask and gloves on. And it comes with two nurses, one carrying a tray. And the other about to give a, a needle, it looks like, shot. So this was actually the second set I was going to order. Uh, so I'm glad he, he sent this for me to review. Again, this is the U.S. surgical team, medical team, if you will. Now I'm going to cut all these off the sprues and uh, show them to you what they look like and uh, give you a better idea of size without the sprue on there. Okay, everyone, here you have the first set of 3D Jason figures that I've ever received. And again, the quality, the attention to detail on these figures is just phenomenal. Um, so you need to check them out for yourself, 3D Jason. Um, now, when I was... <laughs> Cutting these off, be, be aware of the delicate parts because here's what I did by accident. Uh, I was cutting one stretcher and uh, it should have these little stands on the sides. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how delicate some of this stuff is. I can see why he sends it with uh, on the sprue. Um, just little things like that, just like this, the heels. Look at the heels on her, her shoes, man. I mean... Things like that, the details, you really got to watch out for. Um, be careful when you're cutting. Don't cut fast. Um, you know, the, the finger pointing, you know, little things like that are going to um, come off if you're uh, hacking away quick at the knife. So uh, all you need really is an X-Acto knife to cut them off the sprues. Now, let's talk about a negative. I just realized something. There's no bases on these. So you guys know me. I am a toy soldier collector. I am not a model builder. So the one thing that I would recommend, and I don't know, maybe it is on his website. 
I didn't see it on the U on the uh, eBay page where I bought these, but the option to have stands or no stands. I can see why you don't want stands for some of these, especially if you're doing dioramas. But for me, I uh, just set up toy soldiers and I'm going to be painting these all one color. You know, I, I leave the painting to James Viola and guys like that. So these are just going to get a quick rattle can of uh, green and go on a diorama. But I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is keeping all these bases from these sprues and uh, using those as the uh, the bases for their feet to uh, so they'll all stand up. So yeah, if there's any negative to this, again, and it's just me, I know a lot of people don't care about that. They're gonna put their own bases on anyhow or glue them to a vehicle or something like that, but I would like to see uh, permanent bases on these or the option to have permanent bases. Uh, but again, I'll check out his website and maybe uh, that is already offered, I don't know. Okay, so once again, I would like to thank 3D Jason for sending me a few extras to review. Uh, this guy gives you guys a little taste of uh, what the company offers. I did go back and look at my original purchase on eBay. I purchased it on, I believe it was the 2nd of July, and it arrived on the 9th of July. So it took seven days to get this box here, which is phenomenal from the UK. Um, so I appreciate the uh, quick turnaround. And again, uh, if you guys are interested, I will put his logo up there. He does have a eBay as well as his own website. I'm sure it's probably cheaper directly from the website, but I found him through the Plastic General on eBay. So check him out. It's 3DJSON, Jason. And as always, Keep on collecting.